Pen was right. These earplugs are absolutely incredible. Not that I had any clue why Pen needed noise-canceling earplugs, but he'd been banging on about them long enough that I decided to give them a spin myself when the opportunity arose, which was now. And he was correct. I couldn't hear a single thing. It wasn't because the meeting room was quiet. I knew if I took them out, I'd be in danger of my eardrums bursting. I could tell. She'd reached that point in her argument where her otherwise smooth forehead was creased up in frustration, the heels of her palms pressed against her temples for additional dramatic effect, like she couldn't believe she actually had to tell me whatever it was she was telling me, which I'd know if I could hear what she was saying. Or yelling. But I couldn't. Like I said, excellent earplugs. She wasn't really helping matters either. Not losing your cool was literally rule 101 in law school, but she'd never been able to control her temper, at least never around me. Just like I'd never been able to control the desperate urge I had to make it flare. So there we go. I picked an errant piece of thread from my suit pants as she reached the pinnacle of her argument. I knew she'd gotten there because her body language was exactly the same as it used to be when she subjected me to her points of view for hours on end, and any moment she would stop moving and tilt her head in a way that meant she was coming to the close. As much as I thought I'd erased the memory of her from my brain, it all came hurtling back the second she opened her mouth like someone wielding a sledgehammer and smashing it into my frontal lobe. But sitting here in blissful silence while I watched her flail about meant I could now actually think. 